Find out fake DJs and random button pushing. <laughs> Getting the dude hit you right there. Who, who did you press a button that time? He said, whoop, gotta, 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 gotta calibrate the, gotta spin the, gotta push the, gotta engage the, <laughs> gotta, ooh, 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 yeah. She calibrated the fuck out of that shit. Yeah, let's get this crack of liking, people. Yeah, yeah. Can't do it a goddamn thing. He said, whoa, 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 whoa. Honestly, I don't see no problem with it. On the other hand, I can see how some real DJs would have a problem with this. Maybe the DJ just, I don't know, has social anxieties or something. He's just real good. Or he or she is just real good and they just need a hype, man. It's a duo. I see this as a dynamic duo right here. That's just me. The actual DJ is somewhere lurking in the shadows and they have their hype man out here like a stand from JoJo's Bizarre Adventures or some shit. Maybe they're just playing like a recording and I'm just over hyping this shit. But maybe, I don't know, man. I don't know if people actually do I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe they people actually do that. Now what I think about it, it makes perfect sense. Kinda, a little bit, somewhere in my brain. But I can also see how this can be an insult to people who's like fucking fine tuned their DJing skills throughout years and years, gone went into the mountains, mentored by Skrillex and shit to be the perfect DJ. And then you see someone just like come up on stage and like, I mean, it does look goofy, like, don't get me wrong. What's the difference between her and a hype man? I'm pretty sure if you told half these people that she was an Ashland DJ, I'm pretty sure no one would care. No one would give a fuck. I can guarantee you. Some of them, like, at least half would have cared. Like, that's just me. I wouldn't care. The fuck? I don't need to know what the Krabby Patty secret formula is. I don't need to know how hot dogs are made. I don't need to come to the back and see how you cook them. As long as it's delicious, I don't got no questions. Like, some DJs just be sitting there just DJing, and some people be actually going crazy. Why does, why do they have to be mutually exclusive to one person? Why do some one person have to have that much of a burden on them? Like, if you can split it up, and the DJ got no problem with that, I mean, why not? I mean, the deception is a little bit sketchy. <laughs> this is a little bit sus, but you know. And shoot, I don't even know this situation right here she could just be up there just fucking around like someone just called her up there just to play like you know like make a wish type shit i don't know like and there's a lot more to dj than just knowing what you're doing on the set like if if dead mouse and, and skrillex and shit was just as good as they are now but just like the stone faces when they get on stage they would not be anywhere close to as famous as they are now. There's a lot more to DJ than just, you know, hopping up there and just fucking Dr. Octopus and the shit out of shit and just like going crazy on the deck. Like, there's a lot more to it. Maybe she's a Padawan under a Jetta right now, learning the ways of the deck. Just trying to learn like, you know, the whoop, whoop, whoops and like the fucking energy and shit. Like, I don't know. I don't know the situation. I'm not gonna judge her because I don't know the situation. People in the comments talking about, oh, what's her at? Like, so what, you can go harass her? Bitch, you don't know the situation either. Just like someone with trading wheels, I would believe it would be a lot easier to practice without having to worry about the mechanics and how to fucking make this go that way with the doohickeys and, and the leaders and the gadgets and the gizmos and the buttons and everything. Like, I think it would be a lot more manageable. I want to I wanna DJ one day, but I'm going to tell you now, that shit looks complicated. I don't even know the first thing about a DJing deck. Most DJ decks look like the control panel for a goddamn TIE fighter. DJ deck more complicated than human emotion. This situation could very easily be one way or the other. And y'all people who mad at her for doing this shit, man, y'all better be like master DJs capable of doing what she's doing and DJing at the same time. Because you can't be trying to get on her ass for fucking pushing fake buttons and shit when you barely know the first thing about it. Y'all ass get up there talking about some, I'm about to transition to, from, from, from Sandstorm into um Ring My Bell from Stevie Wonder or some shit like that. And what? before you say it, yes, I know, this isn't okay. If it is what it looks like it is, it's not okay. I'm just speculating. I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. I have no idea what's happening here. I did zero research. I'm just making videos, man. And shoot, if you would ignore this and still comment how stupid I am, go right ahead. Because God knows I need comments and views and any fucking thing. I get four views a video, except that one Omni Man versus Metro Man video. I'm rambling. Goodbye. Subscribe and comment. Thank you. <laughs> Hey friend, thanks for clicking on my video. These videos take hours to edit, so if you're actually enjoying my nonsense, let me know by leaving a like. And believe me when I say it's a simple click for you, but a gallon of dopamine for me. Plus, it helps the algorithm. And God knows we need that. Make sure to say something in the comments. Literally anything, it doesn't matter. And if you want to see me go from a hundred subscribers to a hey guys a merch making vlogging YouTuber, make sure you subscribe too.